Good morning. Today we are practicing finding other types of trig functions when we are given some different points and different information. You can see today we are given tangent A is 5 sixths. It says it's in quadrant 1. We want to find how big is sine A. So what we first have to do is draw a circle in quadrant one, draw a reference triangle. So draw a triangle. Remember, it's always drawn perpendicular to the x-axis. The angle down by the origin, that's A. Now, we have to use Sokotoa. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. It says tangent is 5 sixths. So we want the opposite side from A to be 5. We want the adjacent side to be 6. So we're given two sides of the triangle. You'll always be given two sides. Now, what we have to do is figure out how big is the third side. So we need to use Pythagorean's theorem. x squared is equal to 5 squared plus 6 squared. x squared is equal to 25 plus 36. x squared is equal to 61. So when we take the square root, we get the square root of 61. So that gives us this third side of the triangle is the square root of 61. Now, our question ask, how big is sine of A? So sine of A, we come back to Sokotoa. Remember, sine is SOH. So we want the opposite side from A, which is 5, the adjacent, or sorry, the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 61. Now, that would be our answer. However, can you leave a radical in the bottom of a fraction? No, so we need to rationalize. Anytime you have a, rational, a radical on the bottom, multiply by that radical. That gives us 5 square root 61 over 61. And that would be our answer. Let's practice another problem. Okay, for the second problem, we're given sine A is radical 3 over 12. So what we want to do is let's draw another reference triangle. This time it says it's in quadrant 2. So we come over to quadrant 2. We draw our reference triangle, and there is A. Sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That comes from Sokotoa. So we want the opposite side from A to be the square root of 3. We want the hypotenuse to be 12. Now, to find the third side of the triangle, we we'll always use Pythagorean's theorem. So x squared plus the square root of 3 squared equals 12 squared. This is x squared, 3, 144. Subtract gives us 141, so x is the square root of 141. So we can put this down here, but what I want you to look at is this. If we were going to plot this point up here, this terminal point, starting at 0, when you move left to plot that point, this negative, or this square root of 144, that is in a negative direction. So we need to make this value negative because it's moving left on the uh, x-axis before we move up the value. So we have to look at the triangle. Once we have our three numbers, look and see are they positive or negative values. Your hypotenuse will always be positive, but the two legs 
can be positive or negative. It depends on the quadrant you're in. Now, once we have our three sides of our triangle, we are now ready to find our answer. So we are looking, what is secant? Now you gotta remember your trig functions. Secant is reciprocal of which trig function? Secant and cosine are reciprocals. What is cosine from Sokotoa? C-A-H. So look at the triangle. Which side is adjacent? That would be the negative 144. Which side's hypotenuse? 12. Now, take the reciprocal of that. So that would give us 12 over negative square root 141. That would be our answer. However, we need to rationalize. So we're going to multiply by the 141. And hopefully this is getting much better. Since we have positive and negative, that just gives us a negative 12, 141 over 141. And we have our answer. That's good enough. Okay? All right, let's practice another problem. Now, in this example, we're given the tangent is 5 twelfths. We are in quadrant 3. So again, let's start out. Draw a reference triangle in the correct quadrant. So here's quadrant three. A would be located always at the origin. Now, what we know, let's go back. We are given tangent. So we have to come back to Sokotoa. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So tangent is 5 12. Opposite is 5. Adjacent is 12. Now, stop at that point. Look at your triangle. We are thinking about how do we plot this point. You start at the origin. When you move left, when you're going this way, that is in a positive or negative direction. Well, 12 would be in a negative direction. So we have to make the 12 negative. When you move downward, that is also in a negative direction. So 5 is going to be a negative number. So just think about how to plot points. And that will tell you whether the side is positive or negative. Now, let's use Pythagorean's theorem. x squared is equal to negative 5 squared plus negative 12 squared. So x squared is equal to 25, 144. x squared is equal to 169. So x is equal to 13. When you place the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is always a positive number. So remember that is positive. That will never be negative. Now, find our answer. Cosecant. Cosecant A. Which trig function should we be using? Co cosecant is reciprocal of sine. We know sine from Sokotoa is opposite over hypotenuse. So when we take a look at this, opposite of A is negative 5. Hypotenuse is 13. Make the reciprocal. That would make it 13 over negative 5. This can't be simplified, so therefore we would just have that as our answer. Okay, let's practice one more. In this final example, you can see that we are given secant, and we are also drawing this in quadrant 4. So let's draw a reference triangle, go to quadrant 4, you draw it down perpendicular to the x-axis. There's our reference triangle. A is always the angle at the origin. Now, secant. Secant is reciprocal of which one? Well, secant and cosine are reciprocals. So cosine from Sokotoa is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. 
So secant would just be the reciprocal of this. So that would tell us that we need hypotenuse to be 5 and adjacent to be 3. Okay. Now, when we take a look at the sides, look at this side. Starting here, plotting in a positive direction. So this 3 is going to stay positive this time. All right, let's use Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. So x squared plus 9 equals 25 x squared is equal to 16. So our other side is going to be 4. So this side over here is 4. Stop. Look. Should it be positive 4 or negative 4? You're going from here downward. So when you're going downward, would that make that a negative 4? Correct. So that would be negative 4. Our problem asks us to find tangent of A. What is tangent? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So look at the triangle. Opposite side is negative 4. Adjacent side is 3. Cannot reduce that, so that would be our answer. Okay, let me know if you have questions today.